A place to be, to ground your words. A place that is secured for the rest of mine. No other place but burial schools. Burial schools is the best. Good morning, students of Burial International School, and welcome to another piece of um, Burial E-Learning. Today we have a class for SS2 Mathematics, and we're looking at the topic of the right fraction. Of the right fraction. Now, right from your inner second, we have the thoughts of the right terms and expressions. I believe you were taught that of the right terms is the term that comprises of both numbers and letters merged together by multiplication. The combination of numbers and letters by multiplication. For instance, we have the meaning of 2x meaning 2 times x. We have 4p meaning 4 times p, and so on and so forth. The combination of the number and letter by multiplication. Now, in this case, the number that multiplies the letter we know is called the coefficient. The coefficient of any given expression or term is the number that multiplies the letter. It can be a can be positive number, a negative, or a fraction. Alright, for this level, we're not looking at the right term because we have already done that before. We're looking at all the right fractions. All the right fractions is simply the combination of the fraction and letter by multiplication. For instance, we have 2x over 3, meaning 2 over 3 times x. If we have, um, let's say, b over 2, meaning 1 over 2 times b. The same thing applies here. For all the right fraction, the equivalent must give us fractions. Here we have 2 over 3 times x equals 2x over 3, and 1 over 2 times b equals what b over 2. So the equivalent here is half, and the equivalent the other way is 2 all over 3. Now, after looking at algebraic fractions, we will first center on how to simplify an algebraic fraction. To simplify an algebraic fraction simply means to reduce it to the lowest term. To simplify an algebraic fraction is to reduce it to the lowest term. And this is achieved by first carrying out factorization process. For instance, if we are given a fraction like this, let's say, x squared plus xy all over um, all over x plus y all squared to simplify what we do we first factorize each of them both the numerator and the denominator then we cancel out their common factors so beginning from the numerator we have x squared plus xy will give us x into brackets x plus y if you look at this expression we see that x is common to both sides so we pick up x of our highest common factor, x into x where we have x, x becomes x, we have y left. And we factorize our numerator for our denominator, x plus y all squared simply means multiplying x plus y by itself. x plus y all squared simply multiplying it by itself. So we have our numerator as x into bracket x plus y all over x plus y times x plus y. At this point we can see that we have the common factor x plus y, so we cancel out. So that leaves us with x all over x plus y. This is the simplest form of this expression. I'll take the thing. For us to simplify this, for us to simplify this, it means to reduce it to the lowest term. And for us to achieve that we first factorize both the numerator and denominator. When that is done, we now cancel out our common factors. We have an expression x squared plus x y all over x plus y all squared. Now, for the rest of our numerator, x squared plus x y, we have x common to both sides, so we have x into bracket x plus y, then all over our denominator, which is x plus y multiplied by itself. Now, we cancel out the common factors x plus y, then we have x all over x plus y left. These two terms cannot be added because they are like terms. So we leave our answer as x all over x plus y. Okay, now we are to simplify x squared minus 5x minus 14 all over x squared minus 9x plus 14. Now, if we look at this, we see that both the numerator and the denominator are quadratic expressions. What we do, we first work on the numerator by factorization. So we have our numerator as x squared minus 5x minus 14. We simplify by factorization. For us to factorize this quadratic expression, we multiply.
multiply the first and the third. X squared minus 14 gives us minus 14x squared. x squared times minus 14, we have minus 14x squared. Now at this point, we look at two numbers that we add, we get minus 5x, and the same time we multiply, we get minus 14x squared. So those uh, numbers, uh, or those terms are minus 7x and 2x. Now, minus 7 times 2 will give us minus 14, x and x is x squared. Therefore, minus 7x times 2x gives us minus 14, x squared. Also, minus 7x, minus 7x plus 2x gives us minus 5x. Minus 7x plus 2x gives us what? Minus 5x. So the fact that we have split it as 7x squared minus 7x plus 2x minus 14. X squared minus 7x plus 2x minus 14. The idea is that we can calculate each of these two separately. The next common factor in this expression is x. X into x squared we have x minus x to cancel itself, we have 7 left. Then looking at the HCF is plus 2. 2 will cancel itself, we have x plus into minus is minus 2 into 14, we have 7. If you want, we see that we have common factors x minus 7. So this gives us x plus 2 into bracket x minus 7. That is for our numerator. Then for our denominator, for our denominator, we have x squared minus 9x plus 14. See a quadratic expression, we multiply these two, we have 14x squared. The two factors that we can multiply to get 14x squared and multiply add to get minus 9x are uh, the factors uh, minus 2x and minus 7x. What? Minus and minus is plus. 2 times 7 is 14. x times x is x squared. Minus, 7, minus 2x plus minus 7x gives us minus 9x. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 7x then plus 14. Now we can write separately. The HCF of these two we have x. S into x squared gives us x. Minus x to cancel this we have 2 left. Yeah, our this set is minus 7. Minus 7 will cancel this we have x. Minus into plus is minus 7 into 14 is 2. We now have x minus 7 into brackets x minus 2. So comparing both numerator and denominator, the numerator, after factorization, we had x plus 2 into bracket x minus 7. And the denominator, we have x minus 7 into bracket x minus 2. Looking at this, we have these two as common factors, x minus 7, x minus 7. What we have left? x plus 2 all over x minus 2. That's the final answer. We can run it again. That's to simplify x squared minus 9 x minus 14 all over x squared minus 9 x plus 14. As we said, since there are no quadratic expressions, we factorize each of them separately. The first is an integral of x squared minus 9 x minus 14. Doing this multiplication, this gives us minus 14 x squared. We look at the two numbers that we add, we get minus 5 x, and we multiply, we get minus 14 x squared. Now, the two values we add, let's look at the double equation. Minus 2 plus, sorry, minus 7 plus 2 is minus 5. Therefore, minus 7 x plus 2 x is minus 5 x. Also, minus 7 times 2 is minus 14. Therefore, minus 7 x times 2 x gives us minus 14 x squared. So we have, we have succeeded in splitting our middle term into minus 7 x and 2 x. In place of minus 5 x, we now have x squared minus 7 x plus 2 x, then minus 14. The idea is that we can factorize each of these two separately. Now, coming from R at this point, we have the common factor, the highest common factor of these two expressions is x. x into x, so we have x minus x to cancel itself, we have 7 left. Now, in this case, the HCF is plus 2. 2 will cancel itself, we have x. Plus into minus is minus. 2 into 14 is 7. We have the common factor x minus 7, x minus 7. At any point you are factorizing, factorizing and you don't have the same values here, then check your work, then that you are wrong. You have x minus 7 common to both sides. 
We pick out one of them and then the multiplying factor x plus 2. That's our rationalized version of our numerator. Now going to our denominator, we have x squared minus 9x plus 14. See the same pattern. x squared times 14 is one plus 14 x squared. We look at the two values that we multiply, we get 14 x squared, and we add, we get minus 9x. Okay. The two factors we have are minus 2x and minus 7x. We have minus times minus this was plus. 2 times 7 is 14. X times X is X squared. Therefore, this sign this gives us plus 14 X squared. Also, addition, minus 2X plus minus 7X equals minus, minus 9X. We have succeeded in splitting our minus 9X into minus 2X and minus 7X. So we have X squared, X squared, minus 9X now becomes minus 2X minus 7X, then plus 14. Like I said earlier on, the idea is so that we can factorize separately. The highest one factor of these two expressions is x. x into x, so we have x. We bring down our, we bring down our minus sign. x cancel is that we have two left. Also, in this case, the highest one factor is minus 7. Minus 7 will cancel is that we have x. Minus 8 to plus is minus 7 to 14 is 2. Like I said, we have a one factor x minus 2. We pick one of them and they multiply the factor x minus 7. This is the Alright, now so we have um, the factorized versions of our numerator and denominator. For numerator, we have x plus 2 into bracket x minus 7. And for our denominator, we have x minus 7 into bracket x minus 2. We cancel out that one factor. x minus 7 cancel itself. We are left with x plus 2 all over x minus 2. Now we're looking at um, basic operations in algebraic fractions. Basic op operations in algebraic fractions. This has to do with simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of um, given algebraic term and expression. So we have to solve the example on the board. We have 2 all over 2 plus x plus 2 all over 2 minus x. So in this case, what we do is we find the LCM of the denominators. <coughs> the LCM 